Hey guys, in today's video, I just want to share some of the items I picked up for my son. These items are homeschool kind of related, but they are his birthday gifts as well. So we'll be using them for homeschool activities. Now, these first ones that I have on the table here are all ones he doesn't know about. So they will be for his birthday, including one book, which I'll show you in a moment. But uh, this first item here is the... FAO shorts game. It is 24 pieces. It is a mix and match animal parade card set. It was regular $20, which I got for $14 at the Hudson's Bay store. So those are all the different animals you get. So each animal comes into three pieces and you can mix and match them. You could play a memory game with this. You can use them in a scavenger hunt. So I thought that was a great little find, these little animal cards. And then for my son, this puzzle is a new puzzle that design that they have out. This came from Mastermind Kids. It is a 20 piece puzzle. It is ages four and up. Now my son is only turning three and it is by the company um, Hape. It says it's a level five puzzle, I guess because of the design of it, it is round. And the pieces uh, go around, like around, um, this one is all about like city, kind of. So it says jobs, roundabout puzzle. And it does come with a double-sided poster, it says, inside. There is also this one that you can get that is occupations. But I picked up this one because my son really likes just, you know, construction vehicles and stuff. And he's really into puzzles, so I'm interested to see if this level five has anything to do with it or if he'll be just be able to figure this out by himself or if he'll need help so that's a puzzle and it was fifteen dollars also at mastermind i picked up this really cool book this is a book that contains 69 magnets and this one is the crazy faces ones and basically it is a box that looks like a book but it's magnetized and it comes with these 12 cards. And then at the top there, you can place a card. And then your child is to find all the matching pieces to make that face that's in the card. So it shows you some of the examples down here of different faces. This item was $20, but I thought this would be perfect to take on the go with us. And it also, you know, when we're talking about the human body, we can talk about different facial features and how some people have beards, some people have dark hair, light hair, um, some people are, you know, blind, they have, can only see out of one eye, you might need to wear glasses, so just a fun activity for my son to do and we can talk about different facial features, so that item. At a local discount store, I just happened to find these crayons, I found them at the Jane um jane park plaza which is at alliance and jane if you happen to live in toronto but uh it's just a little dollar store they have there so these are four crayons they are rainbow crayons so you get the first one it has it's hard to see on camera but it's a dark blue white and red the other one is a uh, black orange and light blue then there's a uh, dark purple looks like a light aqua color and pink then a green yellow and red so just something fun for my son to color with, and these were $1.99. Also, at Mastermind, when I was checking out, this item was regular um, $17, but she said it was on sale when you bought a certain amount of stuff. You got it for $8. So this is a 3-in-1 stacking picture blocks. So you can play this with um, three different ways. It says ages 3 and up. And you get 52 pieces. So the way you can play it is you can play it as, uh, you know, a tower like Jenga style. Where you have the dice and you remove the color that's on the dice. You can play it in a domino style because it has the little pictures on it. And then the last way you can play it is a memory match game. So I thought it was great to have three games in one for, you know, $7.99. Not bad. And then this item here, I found at our winter store. It was regular $6, and then um, it was down to $4. So this is a lacing puzzle. It has um, 
the nine lacing card pieces with three color laces in blue, red, and yellow. So you can start off simple by just lacing around the lion's head. But as um, your child develops their lacing skills, you can actually lace all the pieces together to form a little lion character. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, so I'm just looking for the age. I'm not sure if it has the age. It just says, you know, choking hazard three, not for three and under. But uh, I'll be interested to see. My son still likes to lace with more like a pipe cleaner style or bendy straws. So we'll see if he can actually, um, you know, use the laces to try to lace this little line together. So that is the first part of items that my son doesn't know about and he will be receiving as his birthday presents. Now I'm just going to show you some books. One book he will be getting for his birthday and the other two he'll be getting now. So over at the Kohl's store, they had these books if you bought. The books were $7 each. If you bought two of them, you got the third one free. So right now, because we are doing the our China unit study, I picked up this first one here. This one is called A Friend Like You, and it just it's a super cute book with a panda, so I thought that would be perfect because we've been talking about pandas a lot. So he'll be getting this one now. I love the illustrations in that book. And then also because it is the year of the rat, or some people like to say the year of the mouse, this one is not another squeak, and it's just, again, beautifully illustrated little book about this little mouse. So... My son will be getting those two right now. And then for his actual birthday, this is the one I chose for free. And this is Make Me Smile. So he, my son absolutely loves elephants. So I thought this would be perfect for his birthday. This little story about this elephants. And again, the illustrations in here are absolutely adorable. So now I'm just going to show you some other homeschool finds that... My son knows about and he'll be getting you know in the next week or so now I know it's past Christmas but when I originally saw this I wasn't gonna pay the original $20 but I found this at the Marshall store for only six dollars so then I bought it for my son so this is the Melissa and Doug Christmas tree that's with the chunky Christmas pieces. So it has a star, an ornament, angel, candy cane bell, Santa Claus, gingerbread man, snowman, little horse, toy, a candle, a stocking, a reindeer, and another tree. Now this is um, puzzle. It um, says it's for ages two and up. I got it for my son because um, I like to have puzzles like this on hand for either tracing, so he can trace around these, he can push them into his um, Play-Doh, but also um, they're good when they're these wooden pieces, he can use in his open-ended play as well. And I also like to do scavenger hunts, so I'll hide these type of puzzles because, you know, he's a little, um, you know, he's doing puzzles that are more advanced, so... This is for maybe a younger child, but I like to hide them and give him clues. So I might hide one like in his airplane basket and say, could you find something that is has five points and is up in the sky and it's yellow color. And then he'll I'll say it's near your airplanes and he'll go look for it and then he can place it back to its spot. Or I'll say, can you find something that's red and white that you would eat and I'll have it hanging off of, you know, one of his little like book racks or something like that I'll give them clues to find it so we'll be using this next year during Christmas is just some fun activities so that's that item and then also at the Marshall store my son found these and I bought them for him they were only $2.99 they are erasers but they're little cactuses and so you got uh, three little erasers that are shaped like cactuses. I'm thinking maybe I could use these. If I take them out of the pots, I can use them during uh, when we're doing our little desert unit study. Just something that he could have as, you know, part of his open-ended play in his small world play. So, cute little item. Then I've been on the hunt for some wooden animals. I'm trying lately to try to get wooden products and not plastic so much. This is by the Hape Company. And they were $12, and these are, you know, little jungle animals. So you do get 12 in the set, so 
There is a camel, a giraffe, a monkey, zebra, rhino, tiger, elephant, hippo, lion, bear, alligator, crocodile, and like a cheetah. So nice little wooden pieces that are double-sided. So I think my son will really like these for his, you know, again, open end of play, small world play. You can use these in the sensory bin. Again, press them into Play-Doh. Perfect for scavenger hunts. So that item. And the last item I want to share with you came from Winners. And this was $13. And this is the Melissa and Doug Sound Train. It's a basic paid puzzle. But um, this one does make sounds. So when you put all the pieces, you can press it. And then uh, there actually is an on and off switch at the back. So I'm going to take it out of the package just to see what it sounds like so I can show you all. So here's kind of what it sounds like. So it is just a basic pig puzzle, but it does have some train noises. So my son... Sorry, I had to shut up, but my son really loves trains, so I think, you know, he saw this at the store when we were shopping anyways, so I think he'll just really love this, because it is a simple puzzle to put together for him, but he'll really enjoy just the sounds the train makes. So, and, um, thanks a lot for watching this haul of my son's birthday items, kind of some homeschool items that we'll be using as well. Just uh, thought I would share and give you some ideas of what's out in the stores uh, right now. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.